Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following pedigree shows the inheritance of the dominant trait, what is the chances that the offspring of the following matings will show the trait 3, 1 with 3, 3 and 3, 2 with 3, 4. According to this pedigree we see mother and father here who has two children, daughter and son who are in their own turn are married and has two children each. So these children in the third generation are going to be uh, cousins. So the first couple which we are interested in going to be 3, 1 and 3, 3. So 3, 1 and 3, 3. So what is the probability that if this couple would marry and the child would also show this trait. So take a look. Um, let's start with the generation one. This is dominant trait. So each parent here have to have dominant allele. So let's say this is going to be dominant allele A in order to manifest this genetic disorder. So both of them have to have this dominant allele. And this is going to be the genotypes. So we can say that this uh, parent here, this the daughter, is going to be capital A and blank space because second allele can be also dominant or can be recessive. But uh, this is not going to uh, affect our calculations. But we know that her brother in the second generation phenotypically normal. So we know for sure that both alleles are recessive. And again, uh, in this case, recessive allele means normal allele and normal phenotype when person is homozygous recessive. And uh, we know also that uh, this person in the second generation have to be uh, normal because he is phenotypically normal. So he has two normal recessive alleles and uh, this child of this couple at least has one dominant allele. As I said, it doesn't matter if his mother is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. He can inherit from his mother only one allele and he inherited a dominant allele. So we know that his genotype capital A and from the father side he only can inherit recessive allele a. So we know for sure 100% that this person is obligate heterozygous and he manifests this genetic disorder because we see it is from the pedigree and that means that he got dominant allele from his mother. And we see that his sister has normal phenotype. That means that uh, his sister got recessive allele from each of the parents. So mother is heterozygous. This is how we know because sister of this person got recessive allele from mother side and another recessive allele from the father side. Now we also have to assume that this person who marry into the family uh, also phenotypically normal as we see from the pedigree and genotypically normal. So has two recessive normal alleles. And we don't need to build a Punnett square to know that these children of this couple also would be genotypically and as you see phenotypically normal. And of course now take a look this person is homozygous recessive. This person is homozygous recessive. That means that the child also obligate homozygous recessive and Please don't make a mistake here. Homozygous recessive, that means in this case, normal phenotype. So the answer for the first question would be zero chances or zero percent that the child would be affected. Now let's take a look at the second parent, three, two and three, four. So three, two and three, four. If this couple of cousins uh, would marry, 
what the chances that the child would inherit this genetic disorder. It is very easy. Now we know the genotype of each parent here on the top. This is going to be this male. So let's also put the sign to designate male. And here on the side, genotype of this female, which we also know, which is homozygous recessive, which is normal. And now take a look. Capital A, small a, capital A, small a, small a, small a, small a, small a. And I also want to change color here. This dominant allele A means uh, defective allele, dominant uh, defective allele, which manifests uh, genetic disorder in the progeny. And as you see, 50% of the progeny of this couple would have this genetic disorder regardless of the sex. So the chances that uh, the progeny would be capital A and small a would be one half or fifty percent. So we can put fifty percent here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.